kicked me out and I have nowhere to go. Every time you guys like rent scary movies, I have nowhere to go. I go to the kitchen, sit there together, done. That's the that's the one that's out. So bye bye chickadee. Hi guys, long time no see. <laughs> How was your New Year's? How oh, was actually your Christmas? We just started. Um, yeah. I'm blind. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, I see the recording. Um, how are you guys? Long time no see. I just said that. But, um, anyways. It's a new year. How's your new year? I wish you all a new, happy, positive, good, excellent, wonderful, magnificent, fancy year. Fantastic. Yeah. Super califragilisticexpialidocious. Anyway. year. To get to the point, we are bringing this to... Excuse me. We are bringing a 2014 favorite. Yes, I did mess up, right? No, I thought you like hit yourself. No, I said, excuse should me. I hit myself? No. Did that make you guys laugh more? <laughs> um, okay. Um, we're gonna start. So we have a lot of things from yes. like hair care to your body yes. and then makeup. Of course. So stick around for the full video, please. Mm -hmm. To know our favorites entirely. Okay. So the first thing we have on our list is the organics. Hair care line. Oh, yes. I said skincare. I don't have skincare line yet. There's an idea for you. But we have like. Oh, just. Okay, there's the organics line and then there's the proganics line, that we which just we just found out yesterday. yesterday at Ulta. So check that out. But it's part of organics. So Watch this go now and there's no more. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have the shampoo, the conditioner, hair stuff. And then our hair products uh, the kukui oil. Kukui! I uh, had that and I. It's a curl cream. I love that so much. Um, this is right. from the Pro Organics line. It's just like a leave-in moisture cream too. Mm. Did you try that today? And then, no I didn't. Mm. Uh, this is an oil mist. It smells wonderful and I get compliments every time I wear this that my hair smells good. And so then the good. vitamin E penetrating oil to repair your hair. This is I love it. Yes. Anyways. I love the Kukui oil uh, yes. like cream. I ran out of that real It's fast. kind of like hairspray and gel together, but without like stiffness. It's super soft, leaves yeah. your hair smelling green. And it takes away those flyaways. Mm. You'll know what I mean. Mm. If you have curly frizzy hair, I'm just saying. Okay, um, more into the body kind of thing. We have our body shop exfoliants. <gasps> Mine's the coconut one. We did a center timer. <sighs> We're trying to make these videos shorter for you guys. And okay. we need a timer to like keep us on point. So Try. we're already three minutes in, so set it. For I just eat. I started it. Nine, seven. Okay, anyways, um, the body shop exfoliants. I had the coconut one. She has the almond one. Uh, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. S sorry. Exfoliant. Some of this. But yeah, um, this is what it looks like. I don't want to like mm. plop it in your face. But, um, the good thing about this is that there's many scents to choose from, and, uh, this is just, just. This does the job, mm -hmm. and it doesn't leave you with dry skin. It actually leaves you with moisturized skin, which exfoliant should do. Yeah. Um, the beads in here aren't so like scratchy that it'll like actually ruin your skin. They're actually very fine. I would say, right? Yeah. yeah. No, they're not oh. scratchy at all, and they don't like wash a away really no. fast. Like some exfoliants, they just like melt or mm -hmm. dissolve. These stay there, and even after you've done scrubbing your body, they're still there, yeah. which is awesome. Um, and I just, yeah, Another thing fun. that's good too is like there's lot of lots of beads in here. Whereas like you'll just take a scoop and like there's some for like enough for all over your body. Whereas some exfoliants have like a Very couple little. beads and it's like you're not really exfoliating yourself because there's not enough mm -hmm. exfoliating beads. But yeah, you guys should check that out. There's many scents to choose from, so it can. What do you say? Like it's for everyone. Yeah. Really, you'll find your signature scent there yeah. for sure. They don't just have exfoliating stuff too. They have other stuff. Body right. butters, body oils, lip balms, lip scrubs, everything. Alright, our scents. Our scents. Our masculine scents. For 2014, yes. the scents we really would repurchase again and wore, have worn a lot. Mm -hmm. So she <clears> has the Ralph Lauren. I have the Ralph Lauren Romance. And she has the, the Bulgari. Which one is it? Do you know? Like, because I know there's like three of them. There's like the pink one and the gold. I think it's just silver. Right? It's just the silver one, so. Yeah, it's yeah, it's silver, pink, and gold. I do want the pink and one. If you don't know what the Ralph Lauren smells like, it's a very floral scent, but it has like a masculine scent to it. Like, it's a masculine scent, but it can be worn for a woman, mm -hmm. and that's where the floral scents come in. Um, like hers go like strong to soft, mm -hmm. and mine is like soft to strong. Hers is like a very sensual, like. 
not it's not sweet, but it's very um, womanly, if mm. that makes sense. It's, it's my more masculine yeah. than all my other ones. But it's, but not, it's not as, as masculine, masculine as that this, one, yeah. But, but it's a good scent. It's good. <clears throat> I love it so much. Yes. Alright, lipstick. Well, the best thing are MAC lipsticks. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> These are. I'm <laughs> sorry. I feel a tingle in my nose. Okay. Our MAC. Look, babies. Yes. Um, oh, Ooh. these are the swatches that we're going to show you. Yes. So, um, we have essentially what, like, six mm -hmm. MAC lipsticks that we like, and we've actually used this all year, like, non stop. Yeah. Um, so, the first one we're going to show you on both skin tones is Honey Love. Honey Love is a very mute, not muted, it's a very pinkish nude, mm -hmm. is what it looks like. And then on this is, it's the first swatch on here. <laughs> right here. It's pretty. As you can see, it's a little bit more brown on hers and it's a little more yeah. pink on mine. Just our skin tone. But it's a good nude that won't really give you that concealer look, if you know what I mean. Alright. Uh, the next one is... I think I wore that one for the day I got married. Either that one or Kinda Sexy. It was Kinda Sexy, I think it was. I don't know. I think it was Kinda Sexy. Anyways, Kinda Sexy is the next one. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's what it's like. Good. I would say it's like a peachy, like a, a darker peachy mm -hmm. color. And it is the second one on mine. And then that one on hers. Right there. I should probably do one at a time. Like, just watching. Showing the swatches. Go on. Okay. Now, the next one is Velvet Teddy, which is like our holy grail. Oh, yeah. like, she has that one. And oh I my god. Beautiful. beautiful. It's a brown, but it's like a nude brown. So mm. don't think it's like an old lady brown color. It right? is, and it's perfect. Um, that is the third one. one. Sorry. I just have a more like pink okay. undertone. Sorry. Oh, I see what you were doing. That one right there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good color that can almost go with anything, but sometimes it doesn't. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's a good color. You just need it. It's a MAC staple. Just letting you know. Okay. So, next one. Plumpho. Plumpho. I wore okay. this so much last year. It's not even oh, funny. I have it. I can have it. Okay. Like, you can tell because I'm <laughs> almost done. This is said to fit any and every skin tone out there. So if you're looking for your first MAC lipstick, and if you don't want to go a red route or a nude route, which most people do, mm -hmm. I would go for Plumful because it suits every skin tone, and you can't go wrong with it. And it's it's a luster finish, so it won't go on as opaque, yeah. or it can be worn every day, and it's a subtle color. Yeah, It's, it's really, really pretty. It was my yeah. go-to. It's this one right here. <clears throat> Alright, next one is Seashare. She has it. I love it. Seashare. This was. It's a good summer color. And that's exactly <sighs> when we got it, or when she got yeah. it. So the um, summer, and the same day we got it, I think we went out to eat that day, and we're like. We both wore it. That's the color yeah. right there. It's like a good coral color. Sorry, like and color. we'll show you the swatches um, on our skin. That one right there is this one. Oh, it's more orange. Yeah, it does a little. It's like an orangey. But it goes on color. literally a little bit sheer. <coughs> like it's mm -hmm. nice because it's buildable. It's sheer, get it? Yeah. Okay, get it. But it's super, super nice. Yeah. The last one is chili. Now, taupe would be a part of this because we did purchase taupe in 2014. But we figured it wouldn't be fair because we only wore it for like a month straight. But but we wore it all the time. Just like, know it's there. Like, it's I, at least I did it. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, this is chili. Poor chili didn't get its fame. Because oh. Taupe like took it over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but this is chilly. It's so my skin tone. It's like a a red with an under note with like orange. Yeah. But it's really good. It's a great fall color. And that's it on my skin too. Mm -hmm. I really swatch is really weird, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and those are our favorite <laughs> 2014. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Brushes. So we're going to go on with our brushes. Um, me and Clarissa both agreed that this this is a MAC C brush, not really C brush. Not MAC. It's elf. a uh, excuse me, sorry, I have MAC in my hand here. We wish. This is an <laughs> Elf um, shader brush. Mm -hmm. uh, ours is a little bit different, but they're essentially the same brush. I just they have mine a whole lot long, like for a lot longer, yeah. and I um, use it a lot. So, but I do find this is what mine looks like closer. Okay. It's not focusing, but you get the idea. Um, 
that's hers. I do find that with the, these e.l.f. brushes, if this one in particular, there's different shapes or mm -hmm. different cuts, but they're both, they're all like shader brushes. It's just you kind of have to pick and choose what kind of shape you want because they're different cuts. They're not mm -hmm. like perfect. But um, yeah, this is a part of this uh, trio. Trio, trio, yes. Okay, so yeah. Um, this is the MAC 217, which we both have, and this is the MAC 224. Me and Clarissa both have the 217 because we both love it, and yes. uh, it's a very versatile brush that can be used as a, just like a flat shader brush, or a blending brush, or mm -hmm. to get in that crease, that mm -hmm. socket, whatever. It's a universal brush, yes. is why this is the first one I bought. Mm -hmm. um, I, however, have the 224, which is uh, your typical blending brush. Mm -hmm. This one is a bit scratchy, but you can always fix that with brush conditioner, which you're supposed to do by the way. But um, yeah, these are... All three of these brushes are great to start off with, though the MAC might be too expensive or out of your budget. Um, if you do want to start off with MAC, I would recommend these two brushes because it's loved by everyone and it's mm -hmm. loved for a reason because they work really well. Yep. The only other two brushes I'm going to add on to that <clears throat> that were my favorites in 2014, sticking with e.l.f., it is the Defining Eye, like <clears throat> angled eye brush. You don't know if you can really tell. It's fluffy, but it's angled. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can use it. I use this for highlighting my under eye. I just like it because it's the perfect size. It's angled. It just helps me, just mm -hmm. helps me highlight it. Um, you can use it. We were discussing for like mm -hmm. a cut crease. Mm -hmm. if you want to really get in here and just yeah. like do that dramatic, like eyeshadow cut, or you know because it it is pointed at the end, mm -hmm. the very tip. You can the inner corner or like yeah, the inner corner. Yeah. Uh, the other one, which you guys already know because we've mentioned this before, it is my blush blush from Mac um, from a very long time ago. Um, she's like obsessed. I am. <laughs> she's obsessed oh. with like the cut of it. It's I just, just love like it. it's so hard to find a cut for it. And I've been for years since I can say years since yeah. being here as well. I've trying to been I've been looking for a dupe because they don't sell this at Mac anymore, mm -hmm. and I finally found one. But I'm not going to say that because that's not what this video is about. Yeah. But anyways. But we'll tell you later. Yeah. She'll tell you later. Um, but I use it primarily for blush. I just like it. Some people may think it's a little big, but I just like it for blush. And that's primarily what I use it I'm for. I'm like so excited for you this You can brush. use it for powder, mm -hmm. um, bronzer. bronzer. You can give like a light little like glow. Nothing to cut crease. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I do, like if I don't want, I don't know, I'm weird. Like if I don't want a completely covered blush, like cheek, blushed cheek. Mm -hmm. I like just squeeze a little bit like that and I don't know it's just I just use I love it it's her technique and it works for yeah it. I just love this brush it's really really great she loves it I hope you guys can find one like it I'm sure Emily will find one for you guys <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're gonna go on to blushes um I have the Tarte Exposed blush mm -hmm. I'm sure everyone on YouTube knows this if not well here you go Mm -hmm. Um, she has the Milani one in Luminoso. Luminoso. We both love this one, by the way. And she loves this one, too. Um, this is a good tar no, blush. Um, did she really? <laughs> yeah, I wish this one blush. Smells, smells like, smells like. Um, this is a part of the Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush, blush mm -hmm. line. Um, if you want to start off with that line, I would recommend this one in Exposed because it's a, it's a very versatile blush. What I mean by that is it can be worn with any looks. She's wearing it today. She's my model for this blush. <laughs> It's um, pretty. And if it's any and every skin tone, I believe so. Like, I mean, it doesn't it's hers. It doesn't swatch well, I will say no, that. No, it does like, not. If you, like, see this video, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go and get it, and you, like, swatch it, you're like, uh, no. Mm. On your cheeks is a completely different story, because I thought the same thing, and she used it on my cheeks. If you've seen our vlog, she was doing my Christmas makeup, and she oh, yeah. used Tarte Exposed, and I was like, oh my god, I love it. Like, beautiful. <laughs> but, um... I've been kind of thinking of this now, like, you know how everyone goes for that nude lipstick because it can kind of go with everything? This is what kind of Tarte exposes, like, it's kind of like that nude blush without really being a nude. Mm -hmm. It does show up on your skin very well, it lasts as long, um, I haven't tested it out for 12 hours, as it says back here, but it's a good blush for everyone to start off with. And then, in the drugstore route, this was probably one of my very first blushes I bought at the drugstore, and it was, like I said, the Milani... Milani Luminosa, that's a tongue twister. Um, this was the second time I repurchased it because I completely ran out the other one. Emily purchased it again the last time she was there. Um, but basically, I mean, it's a perfect, I use it a lot for the summer, as you can see, it has like a little sheen to it. I ha if you look at it, it does have little specks of like glitter, but it doesn't really come out a lot on your cheeks. It's very light, luminous blush, and it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And for darker girls, like, 
It could even be a really, really good highlighter yeah. for your cheeks. Next thing on our list is our brow products. Um, I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. And I have the Smashbox Trio that has, mm -hmm. um, of course, the dark. I guess it's already. Mine's all dirty. I don't use the wax, so it's completely covered in like powder. But it has the wax for your brows and then the actual powder for your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Um, she uses the Smashbox, but now she's like in love with the Brow Wiz. Oh, I'm, I like that too. Yes. But um, she went to go get it, but also didn't have it. it. And they didn't um, have the contour palette. No. Huh. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, I do love Smashbox as much as I love the Anastasia one. Why? Because I feel like this is super pigmented where you can go really bold with it, but be mm -hmm. careful because that pigmentation can kill you sometimes. Yeah. Um, we but like that's why I love it. Because you can go for a bold um, brow thing, mm -hmm. I guess. Because this is really pigmented. But I also love Anastasia because doesn't everyone. But not, that's not why I love it. But um, <laughs> if you want to go for a natural brow, I would recommend the brow powder, which is mm -hmm. what I have in my hand right now. If you want to go a more bold route, there's always a dip brow or anything else that she sells in the line. But um, this is really good. Uh, yeah, it's just good. <laughs> the pigmentation's there. It goes on mm -hmm. faster than I would say the Smashbox does. I feel like it's very timely because of the pigmentation. You have to be careful of that. You have to be very light handed But this that. is really good. You don't have this to. This one you can like put it on. You don't have to be mm -hmm. afraid. Mm -hmm. But it's also buildable. Like, yes. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I mean, it's great. It's an awesome and you also have two colors if you feel like doing that mm -hmm. like little ombre effect with the eyebrows. But yeah. I just want to use one. That's the only thing I just hate. Like I wish. I don't think Smashbox actually <clears> does sell an eyebrow like powder without the wax in it like I have, haven't seen one at least yet and I just hate it because I wish I had more of the actual brown that I use I don't really use the lighter color yeah that's kind of that's, that's stupid yeah. sorry but it's like, like half of it is wax color. and then a little tiny mm -hmm. look at that it's so tiny that's mm -hmm. the color I use anyways okay at least use like a small amount of the lighter yeah. color than like half of the anyways <laughs> um, with our favorite mascara for the it's a fit, sorry. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mm. Um, if you want length and volume and pigmentation all in one shot, go for this. Oh, um, I do layer my mascara and the end results always end with this on top and it just like, it gives me that wall factor that I need like, for my... Like today I didn't use it mm -hmm. and I used the Makeup Forever mascara I had in combination with the Calvin Klein because layer mascara. Mm -hmm. It's just, I'm so used to this one that I'm like, I feel like I don't have enough mascara on my lashes, but I know I put a lot. Um, another good thing that is awesome about this, if you're like on the fence, is that a friend of mine, I sent her a picture of a tutorial. I was like, do you like this like look? Like, what do you think? Give me some feedback. She's like, do you have on falsies? And I thought she meant I need I need a falsies for the look. And she, I was like, no, those are my natural lashes. She's like, she said a word, but basically saying like, I hate you because it looks like you have on mm -hmm. falsies. But we didn't, which all I had was... So it's this. essentially good for girls like me who don't have a whole lot of eyelashes. Uh, it'll do the job for you. Mm -hmm. But if you have lashes, it's going to give you a whole bang effect, you know, for people who need longer lashes. <laughs> okay. She has lashes. It's just they I'm don't staring at them right now. Whatever. <laughs> They're good in the angle. <laughs> but, but anyways, um... <clears throat> we don't forget this. Oh. This is what it looks like wet. We've expressed our love for this before, and this is what it looks like dry. Um, this is part of the top of our list. If we, have, if we had something to recommend to anyone and mm -hmm. everyone, this would be it. Um, no matter what anyone says babies. about the price, or if it's not worth it, it is worth it. And if you want, like, a good, like, <laughs> flawless yeah, finish, like like <laughs> foundation, like, this is a good way to go. Yeah. Um... They have other sponges too, um, mm -hmm. blend, beauty blenders, and they're all geared towards different, yeah. like... There's dupes too. Oh, are, and there's dupes, yeah. They're all but geared towards different... It doesn't come close to this. Um, I was gonna say something. She just bought a dupe too. She bought a dupe. Yeah. She'll let you know. I'll let you know. Um, I was gonna say something. I, for me, this would... I don't know if you would agree with me, but it, it like... Over tops, if that's a word, my brushes surpasses. Surpasses. Yeah. Thank you, Clarissa, for being my dictionary today. Uh, <laughs> surpasses. Surp wow. You know what she means. All my like face brushes. <laughs> yeah. I love them dearly, but this, if I want like that airbrushed effect, I would go for this. And mm -hmm. it, even though like it takes a lot of your product, but still it puts it on beautifully. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
I have nothing to say. That was an amazing, <laughs> <laughs> amazing explanation. Okay. Um, another thing that's one of my favorites are the Lorac Pro palettes. This is the first one, the original one, and this is the second one. Clarissa herself loves the second one because of uh, a green color, and she loves green. Beautiful. I too, but that's her favorite color. Yes, it is. Um, this is what they look like. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Ulta, Sephora, anywhere else that sells it. Um, I love this because the pigmentation there, it's not chalky, so the texture is there too. It's a very good texture. Mm -hmm. They're soft and smooth. Um, they go on the same way you see them. Yeah. If not, even more pigmented. Like, look at the screen. Just want to dip it. I'm going to tap it. the black. I just pressed it. I only tapped the black. That's sorry. crazy. Okay, that's crazy. I'll wipe it on my skin. Okay, anyways. Um, I would recommend these over any mm. palette. Um, I go to these. They're my go-to above any other palette except for Makeup Week, which you'll see soon. Um, <laughs> uh... I like how there's mattes and shimmers, and I wouldn't switch any one of them to be a matte or a shimmer. They're beautiful. Um, they're cheaper than like the Naked palettes and any other palettes. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would recommend these above Urban Decay Naked palettes as well. So yeah. For my New Year's look, I did a combination of the Lorac and the Makeup Geek. Mm -hmm. it's Which There's is one. a very fantastic combination by yes. my friends. Sorry. It's beautiful. <laughs> this rose gold. <gasps> to die for. Mm -hmm. And there's not a color in here that's like. Oh, that's a light color, so it might not come off. It might mm -hmm. come off too light. They're all no. equally pigmented. They're amazing. And the quality is there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I know Why do I get a whiff thing? A, <laughs> a con that might be for people is, like, the packaging how it gets dirty, but yeah. I, it doesn't, I don't really care for that. Like, but, people like me who are kind of, like, I just, yeah. I love the feel of it, but I don't like how it gets dirty. Either. And especially if it's black and it's dirty. Yeah. Because I've used it. But I've, it's easily, given some love. It's dirty because it's given love. As easily as it gets dirty, it's easier as easy to clean. Yeah. So. Right. Of course, uh, in the beginning of the video, I was rearranging it and created a beautiful pattern. But these are the makeup geeks. <laughs> Excuse chickadee. <laughs> that is awesome. No, I know it is. It is awesome. I was okay. just saying because it's not in the pattern. It's the oddball out. Okay, <laughs> but um, I love these. Uh, everything that I said about Lorac Pro palettes. This has it, except mm -hmm. for a fraction of the price. Yes, super super cheap. Price. They're like six dollars. Um, the pigmentation there. Um, they feel so soft and they go on so well onto the skin. How you see it in the pan is how it's gonna go on your eye. Um, these are just my warmer shades. These are the f my first ever makeup beach shadows that I chose, and mm -hmm. I feel like I chose well because they're all the staples and they're the warm colors as well. Um, there's a lot more cool tones in makeup geek sites. Yes where they sell these eyeshadows. Um, I made a list of all of them that I'm going to be getting. Yes. She wants all of them. Not all of them. There's some. I want all of them. But there's, it's <laughs> a good, like out of, right. let's say they, I forget how many they have, but I have a good like 95% on my list. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I would recommend these above any MAC shadow. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Mac, but I will not be going to you for eyeshadows anymore. I already created my palette for Mac, so that's where I want to go. But not that I have Makeup Geek and Lorac, I yeah. By the way, they're just really good. Okay, okay, <laughs> they are. Yeah, she uses them a lot in her tutorials, so you'll see. see. Yeah. Okay, Is that see. it? Are we done? I think we're done. That was it. For our 2014 favorite. It's the like 25 minutes. We tried. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We tried to like condense this video for you guys, but Speak we really include fast. a lot of information for you guys to know. And at least we're talking about the products honestly with you. Mm -hmm. And just and we condense. Like this is just like I mean, the ones that we really really wanted. Mm -hmm. There's like a whole lot more that we used yeah. in 2014, but we way too long as you can see. But it's hitting the 24 yes. minute mark. So we just thank you for being a trooper. <laughs> and if you stuck to this. Watching it all. Yes. Thank you. We but. appreciate that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that sums up everything that we talked about in this video. Mm -hmm. We hope this helped you and hoped, hopefully it gave you a whole shopping list. Yes. So go out and get them. Get them. Let us know. Tag yes. us that you got them. Yes, please. Alright guys, <laughs> well, once again, <laughs> thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Hope yes. seeing that you guys have we started off well. And other than that, we'll see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. All right. As we grow I'm just playing you, girl. Okay, <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> I just like... <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>